Hi guys, Ashish this side. In this video, we will be talking about announcing Lambda. Microsoft Office has announced a new feature called Lambda, which basically helps you into converting your Excel formulas into a custom function. Let's open up the Excel file and see how we can use that. So this is my data. In India, we have a lot of tedious rates. It's very difficult to remember the tedious percentage for each activity. Let's see how we can save that and create a custom formulas. We want to create a custom function or formula. Like when we select accumulated PF, then Excel should tell us that TDS should be deducted on a 10% and if we select interest received on security then the TDS should be a 7.5% and if the lottery then the TDS percentage is 30% if there is an insurance commission, then TDS percentage is 3.75%. There is a cash withdrawal, then there is a 2% of TDS deduction should be happening. So let's start doing it. How we can do it? Let's start doing it is equal to lambda. I'll give the name of subtotal in GST. So my TDS is calculated on my gross totals, which is basically subtotal plus GST. So I'll give that subtotal Excel function as well. So you need to choose the X1 subtotal plus. PST. Once you type that, it will automatically give you that. And for accumulated PF, our percentage is 10%. And I'll close the bracket and hit enter. No, this is not the error. There is one more step we need to do it. You need to copy this formula. You go to the formulas tab, click on name manager, click on a new. We will give the name like we are doing it for accumulated PF. I'll just paste the formula and hit OK. And my TDS percentage for PF has been set. Let's test it now. I'll press equal to. I'll search for the function that we had created. I'll open up the bracket. I'll give the input of a subtotal. Then GST. I'll close the bracket. I'll hit enter. And my TDS percentage is there. Now let's do a aim for interest received on a security. This is 7.5%. I always had to change the TDS percentage manually. So from now onwards, I don't have to do it. So let's start doing it another one. I'll press is equal to lambda, then my subtotal, then GST. I'm just doing this as an example to show you. You can also just copy paste the same and change the percentages. I'll select the subtotal plus GST. Now interest received on security is 7.5 percent, 7.50 percentage. I need to close the bracket. I'll hit enter. No, no, no. This is not the error. Like this is the same thing we did it up here. We'll go to the name manager. We create a new i'll copy paste the formula first now interest received on securities i'll press ok now interest received on security tds percentage has also been set let's test it now let's search for my function that we have created i'll open up the bracket I'll close the bracket and my TDS percentage has been calculated. Let's quickly do it for a lottery. I'll go to the name manager. I'll copy the formula since we had already written it. Click on new. I'll change the percentage to 30 and hit OK. My lottery has created. I'll quickly test it now. My function is there. You need to give the input subtotal and you can see my lottery TDS percentage is also there. This is just to give you a glimpse that you can define the variables. Then you can do your customization as per your convenience. So this is my lambda feature. Now you can see that I'm very excited about this formula. I have already created my certain categories that I want to do it for future purposes. You can also do it and build your custom formulas. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Kindly like and subscribe my channel.